talking about his new book, Fear, Trump in the White House. Now, you've got sources in here uh, that tell you things that Mattis, uh, uh, Dowd, and Kelly have said, and all of those people have denied that they said the things that you quote them as saying. What's, what's your response to that? Uh, uh, one thing, and uh, look, these are people who are trying to s survive and keep their job. Uh, so, look, and I know other reporters who've heard things from those people, and uh, they heard the exact same thing, and, but it was off the record, so they couldn't use it. And when I did the reporting for this book, no off the record. People would say, well, I want this off the record. No. This has all got to be on deep background. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to say where it came from. And so I, I think in our business at times, we are cheating the public. We learn things, secret things, off the record. We're part of the gang. And uh, I think we have to kind of stop doing that and saying, uh, let's use it in a way that we can tell the public. Um. So it's your 19th book. It's your 19th book. Yeah. Um, you've covered nine presidents. You've yeah. seen a lot. Is, is what you've uncovered or what you experienced covering the Trump White House, is that shocking to you? Yes. What is most shocking? Uh, this taking of documents, this uh, not realizing that the nat national security for the country comes from having trade relations, having security agreements like NATO, and uh, secret intelligence partnerships. And there's one scene last year in the Pentagon where Trump is there and everyone's saying, uh, this it, it Secretary of State uh, Tillerson said, this is what's kept the peace for 70 years. He's historically right. But Trump does not want to do any of that stuff. He wants to do it his own way, in a dangerous way, and at the end of that meeting, as reported first by NBC, which is accurate, uh, the Secretary of State, after the President had left, said he's a effing moron. I remember. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> this is the story of North Korea, Afghanistan, the Middle East, taxes, all the debates about tariffs and trade and immigration are in there as you see him dealing with it. At, at one point, uh, he, Trump is talking to Lindsey Graham, the senator, and uh, tr uh, Trump has said this thing about s-hole countries, you remember yeah, sure, in the yeah. news? And uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it's quite interesting. And uh, Trump says to Graham, well, some people like that. And Graham said, not me. I didn't like that. And uh, uh, Trump is out at a golf course, and uh, Lindsey Graham said to him, uh, hit him well, good. And just kind of says, I'm not, this is something I'm not going to go along with. And I guess that's part of the story here. There are people, maybe not enough and not every time, saying, uh, wait a minute, this is not what America is. This is not how we should be governed. The, we need to uh, have a system of a president saying, what's the next stage of good for everyone in the country? Not just the base, but what's, and, and there is a way to answer that. There are certain things that the country needs that are good. That's the president's job. But he's off, he's got ideas about the economy. I mean, the, they meet with him and they will say, you know, where'd you get that idea? 99.9% .9 of the economists just disagree. And Trump says, I've had those ideas for 30 years. Well, we disagree. Well, that's You're wrong. Alarming. Gary Cohn says to him, why do you believe the things you believe? And he, uh, and he says, I don't know. I just <laughs> have always believed them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, in many of these cases, he's just wrong. And no, you know, he, he'll find a few people who will agree, but, um, you know, this is a time, we better, sorry, we better uh, wake up 
to what's really going on, and uh, people need to examine it, not but just Republicans and Democrats, but, but this is not partisan. I don't, I, I actually got accused once of being an ultra-centrist. <laughs> can, that's, can you that's imagine like wearing, that? That's like wearing extra medium. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have to take a little bit of a break. We'll be right back with more Bob Woodward. And about where we go. From